Episode 14 of my pickups. Um, I haven't been out to the swap meet in a while because I'm back at work. Uh, and I, I just don't have time and I always work on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So and it, was, it was nice to get back out there and go try to find some games at the swap meet. But um, all this stuff is, except for that controller and one of the Yahtzee things, um, were from the swap meet. But the Nintendo games, all these I got for $2, except for uh, Punch-Out. I uh, paid $3 for that. Um, I'm going to sell that because I can't pass it up for $3. And I already have it, so. Uh, all these Nintendo games right here, and all this stuff. The Genesis, um, and the Super Nintendo stuff. He wanted between 3 and $5 a piece for him. And he was a re reseller. And one thing I did notice out at the swap meet here in Vegas, um, the resellers don't really know the value of the game. They just kind of say whatever comes to mind and they're usually all the same price so it kinda works in my advantage sometimes um, but I was able to talk them down to uh, two dollars a game uh, it came out to on average so we got the Nintendo games uh, these are all games I don't have um, Zoda's Revenge Monster Party Guardian Legend Gorilla War, uh, Star Soldier, Willow, uh, Bump and Jump, Barbie, uh, Trick Shooting, Spider-Man, Jurassic Park, and Pipe Dream. And there's also a, there, this was in the lot too, uh, Crash Test Dummies with the manual and stuff. Uh, I guess it came from a rental place because they cut out the box and crap, so I'll probably just throw it away and keep the cartridge in the manual. But I didn't have that one either, so. Uh, Super Baseball 2020 for the Genesis. Um, Bubba and Sticks. And he had a couple box Super Nintendo games. Um, I already had the other ones, not in box, but. Uh, they were really bad condition, and this was probably the best one. But this came complete. Um, Arknoid. Arkanoid, if, if that's how you say it correctly. I never know how to say it. Um, and so all this time, I have never, ever found a boxed NES game. I've got like 400, 400 plus NES games. And they're all loose. I've never found a box NES games. I don't know if I just don't have the eye for it. I'm looking in the wrong places. But I said if I ever see one um, at the swap meet or thrift store or whatever, I don't care what it is, how much they want for it, as long as it's not ridiculous price, um, I'm going to buy it just because it's my first one. Um, I was hoping for something better as the first box NES game that I find, but I'll take it. It's a millipede. Uh, not the greatest condition, obviously worn around the edges, but it is complete. The game on the the game is actually like I don't think it was ever played. It was wrapped up in some plastic wrap. So, but that was pretty cool to find my first game. Give it a try. I, I, I'm pretty sure I sucked at this game actually, but and. I can't say thank you enough to uh, Gamer Matt Weavis for letting me know and everybody else know about these Yahtzee handheld uh, things. These games from 1995. The, the gold ones are actually from 2002, I think. But the black and the clear ones are from 95. Man, it's like I gotta send you some games or something just for mentioning it because every time I find these everywhere it's like finding twenty dollar bills like laying on the ground or at the swap meet or the thrift store it's just it's ridiculous how many of these I find um, 
This one was 49 cents at the thrift store. And I just sold three of them on eBay. One went for $21, one went for $25, and the other went for like $27. So, I mean, like, it's 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 insane. I don't, I don't know what the deal is with the Yahtzee things, but it's free money for me. I don't know. Um, also, I picked up at the swap meet um, some Atari games. Uh, I got home and I realized that I already had a couple that I did a trade with Ed1138, so uh, I guess I'll have to get rid of a couple of these in like a trade or something, but there is Pac-Man, Defender, Haunted House, Video Pinball, um, Space War, Atlantis, I'm not sure which one this plays on, maybe you guys can tell me, I don't know if it's the 2600 or one of the other ones, but, um, Space Attack, and those are all 50 cents, and I also found uh, for two dollars each, they're really dirty, but I can clean them up. Uh, po Pokemon Snap, Bio Bio Freaks, and this is horrible condition, but I can clean it up to where I can, you know, probably get fifteen bucks out of it on eBay. Um, Super Smash Brothers, it's always a popular game. I actually don't have it, but I'm not going to keep it just because it's in horrible condition, but. I wasn't gonna let it sit there for two dollars. So, um, also, this is out of Savers on the way home from the swap meet. It's a red '64 controller. Joystick's great condition, and it came with a memory card in the back, and it was only 3.99. So, I picked up that. I picked that up as well.